Want to 10x your growth? Discover how only three growth hacks in 10 days can change everything. Welcome to the 10 day growth hacking challenge with your host Nader Sabri. We are here today with Amanda out of Queens, New York, who's shaking up the beauty business. She was on hack number three, and she's coming to a close on her 10 day growth hacking challenge. Before we get started, for those who want to do what we're doing here on the challenge, it is all in here. If you want to do what we're doing, you need to get the growth thinking design methodology book, which teaches you what we're doing here. Amanda, welcome aboard. How, hey. how are you doing? Before we talk about hack three, by the way, any updates on hack one or two in the sense of results or learnings or anything you just want to share with us in the sense of what has happened with hack one or two before we jump into number three? Yes, well, I definitely have seen a growth in interest on my social media. I've been having more interaction, regardless of the algorithm change that everyone keeps talking about. I actually have a lot of um, new clients that are coming out of, they're jumping out of the, you know, I don't know where, but I'm very happy about it. Um, mm-hmm. I, can, I can see now the consistency, like today's again Sunday, so it's self-care Sunday, and we're gonna do the tutorials on the mask. And I've been I've been kind of talking about it. So I have a little bit of a waiting. So people are starting to, you know, oh, like what are we doing to what are we doing for this Sunday? Um, last Sunday I had really great reviews. I had my clients text me actually, and they were like, You encouraged me to make my own scrub. So it was just really nice to see um the interaction part and just the the signals that people are definitely they like it and um they really loved as well the the tutorial and i'm working on the videos i'm I'm still trying to find the exact style but they love the fact that we can make certain things and they can still have the same effect as products that cost you know maybe a little bit far out of their budget they love that idea Um, And I want to continue to bring that into, into the game, you know, for them um, so that they can do it in a way where it's, it's practical and it's fun and it's a little bit more meaningful than just buying the product, um, you know, in a store and just using it and then probably never doing it again because it was a one-time buy because they really can't afford it and they can't keep up the consistency with the product. So I'm really excited about that. I think Um, discovering, discovering your format is going to be key. And I know that comes with time. Yeah. 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 But I can see the change and so have my clients. I've had really good good feedback and they're like, whatever you're doing, I really like it. And I actually had a couple clients, like close friend clients that are saying that to me privately. And I'm just like, (laughs) Good, I get good, excited good. No, these nice are the signals, good. right? These are the signals. Yeah. When, when people are yeah. coming and responding to you like that, that is a very clear signal that you're doing something that people are responsive to. And just it was being, really nice. Exactly. And just doing more of it and doing it better. And I think, like I said, the format will come into play. And I think you can learn a lot from some of the other formats people have done. They, they're not doing what you're doing. People who are doing other things, like they could be teaching photography yeah. or uh, cooking, but they have a really good format that you can adapt yeah. and adjust to your world. Okay. So I think like you need to play around with it and you can run it. Now you've got people who are responding. You can kind of act, get more active feedback. So I think that's going to be brilliant. Uh, by the way, for those tuning in, for more information about Amanda and what she does, click below, go to our very first video when the kickoff, when we talk about Amanda's background, what she's doing and hack one and two are essentially a uh, beauty tutorials online using social, but her, her, her key superpower is being able to create your own, uh, what would you call it? Your, your own mixes, right? Right. Well, we're combining, well, we're just, we're combining, uh, you know, medical aesthetics with holistic aesthetics and we're looking for ways to make it more fun and interactive and normalizing it. So yeah, so like for the tutorials, we took a scrub and instead of just buying a scrub, we made it at home and we also put a different intention to it. So it's not just making a scrub for your skin, but like putting good energy into it and just kind of like bringing in that awareness of self-care being a practice of self-love. And then we also have then uh, just kind of it's um, there's so many different things that I do. But this format, as you say, is putting it all together and it's really going to help for the future long-term goals. So um, it's been really nice. Yeah. 
Awesome. I didn't know how big, how much a format change yes. and, uh, you know, pivoting and changing up certain things. Um, Cause you know, um, I've been doing this for a while and it kind of got stagnant. It got stagnant. So um, adding all this interactive work, it's been very helpful, very helpful. Yep. I think a really good example is it's a bit of a larger example, but TED, uh, so TEDx or, or the TED speaking network, I think they, <clears throat> they've done, I mean, public TED speaking talks. is TED them. talks. Exactly. They've been around for ages, but they mastered this format that just replicated and worked like magic became viral. And so you need to be kind of like a TED talk. You need to find that, that formula, which just works yeah. for you really well. And then boom, it'll just explode. That is awesome. I'm, I'm really yeah. happy to hear this and you deserve all the success. I know how much effort you put into this, uh, yeah, especially with you. the, especially with the pivot, right? You, you made this pivot before we started, which is very impressive that you, you, you took that on yourself and, and moved on, but let's jump into hack number three. So tell us yeah. what is hack number three, how it's worked. What's, what's happening with hack number three. So hack number three is going to be a little bit, um, you know, because it's a 10 day challenge. And so for hack number three, I feel like hack number three is very long term, kind of like, um, oh, well, we're talking about realistically something I've already started and set in motion, but I need to be more consistent with steps one and two to really build the brand so that step three, hack three can really hit. Um, I, it's, it's pretty much making, uh, beauty coaching. So I have a lot of people that kind of are very interested in what I do and they're either already licensed or they're not. And they want to figure out how I started, how did I start and what's the best way for them to go out and start. And that's what I'm currently building. Um, we're building the, you know, my signature facial, which is the Reiki facial, which is you know, bringing in together uh, the, the, the medical uh, setting of a facial, but then adding the holistic um, techniques of, of energy healing to that facial. Um, it is a concept that's already out there, but it isn't a concept that has been like, you know, with TED Talks that kind of like went viral. So yeah. I'm looking for my way to make it go viral so that I can get that momentum and kind of get that you know, that bright light so that once it's there, I have everything set up. And um, I started off by now, um, I'm creating the Reiki facial and exactly like step by step how it's going to go and how I'm going to teach it. Um, but then I'm also trying to put together everything that we're doing now um, in, a, in a small, simple startup guide so that it can Perfect. be a combined class as, well, here's this is the signature Reiki facial and how you're going to go about doing this treatment. And then here is a guide on like things that you should do to start your business so that you can brand yourself and so that you can find the format that's going to work um, for this specific uh, industry or this specific uh, business that you're trying to start, which I've already done, you know, so I'm really awesome. excited and that's going to take some time, but I've already started the works and it's, it's, you know, awesome. Awesome. I really, I'm really excited. Awesome. So, so in summary, this is essentially what we were talking about, which is the uh, beauty coaching, which are people coming to you be like, Hey, we want to, we want to do the same kind of thing. Like with the tutorials you're teaching and the products you're creating, we want to do the same as you and commercialize it for ourselves. So the, the coaching service. Yeah. So the coaching service is like, you're going to take it down give them the blueprint and they can go execute it, whether they use your product or not, or potentially your no, product yeah. is part of it. Yeah. And they don't have to, it's the format, right. That we're yeah. trying to sell it. So yep. it's, it's great because it builds that sense of community that I wanted and it takes, it eliminates the competition, which is very heavy in this industry. And it's exactly what I'm trying to do, which is to kind of, you know, Mm, stray away from the competitive side and kind of make it so that if more people want to do what I'm doing, we're not only going to like have people that are like being paid, they're paid, they're entrepreneurs, they're self-sufficient. They're probably going to increase their confidence and their self-esteem and they're going to be able to be happy. So they're going to be in, in, in this, you know, essentially there's going to be happier people out there spreading happiness and spreading joy okay. um, instead of what is out there. Right. <laughs> I love that. And then yeah. also, you know, I'm getting, so I'm going to make money off of helping others make money and they're going to make money off of helping others make money. And, you know, it's kind of like those Ponzi schemes that they talk about, <laughs> but you're like, 
it's different because you're actually creating <laughs> an, a, a template and not like, you know, it's like, here you go. Here's the answers. Go figure it out, you know, with or without me. <laughs> I think I think I think it's more like like a franchising model, right? I think that's yeah. what I see this is, is which yeah, is not like, those pyramids. Yeah, not a pyramid at all. No, no, not don't don't go down that route. I mean, no, I mean, we're not going down. That yeah, exactly. Route. There's but nothing I'm, wrong with that road. It's yeah. just that's not the road that we're taking. <laughs> it's not the road we're taking. Exactly. Yeah, it's more like a franchising format, which this works out very individual, well. Yeah, this is a this is a individuals can prosper kind of thing, you know. <laughs> Exactly. And you can go out and you can do your own thing with or without help. Like, this is how you do it. This is, you know, this is how you start. Here you go. Yeah, I think that's awesome. With I think, you. <laughs> I think, I mean, yeah, I mean, having like a, a, a franchisable beauty business, I think can be awesome because a lot of people in this, that industry don't know where to start, like in many industries, right? Where to start, yeah. how to go about it. Just give yeah. them the resources and like, you got, I mean, they would obviously buy it from you. You wouldn't just give it to them. They, they buy it from you and then you would train them and they would be obviously fees to that. And that would be how you yeah. would commercialize, but you can also push more things down the system. Cause once you've got enough franchisees, um, there'll be more demand on the kinds of products you're producing, the kind of training that you're doing, um, probably even featuring some of your franchisees in your format uh, can be a really big thing. Uh, so it can yeah. go, it can, it can explode. It can go to many places. You're building, you're building, you know what I'm saying? Something beautiful. You're, you're helping people. And then you're showing others that, that you're able to do that. Yeah. And it's funny because I've had, I've had a few, I have a few women that I mentor already. So I've been, I've, you know, this has been in my heart for a long time and the yeah. mentoring is free. I always do like free mentoring, just, you know, come and get some info, but I've been really wanting to create create and they've been wanting me to create something that's more solid they want to support and they want to buy they want to join i just have to create it so yeah. that's where we are perfect that's but you awesome. need you need all the steps first before you go into that because right you want to create um you want to be an example of something someone else wants and in this industry it's it, the thing is that it's very played out so it's not that what i'm doing hasn't been done it's that I feel the format, not the format, but just the style of this industry, especially here where yeah. I'm located in New York. It's very and like it's just very like played out already, you know, white sheets and just, you know, I need to look tight and walk out the door and just like quick, 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 fast thing that they've kind of come up with. It's like they have New York modernized, you know, the spa and I'm going to. I mean, we have to find a way to keep that right, but also kind of bring back some uh, some sense of like, hey, you know, you 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 have feelings, too. And, and, <laughs> and you don't have to always be so fast. And, you know, your outer beauty is great. But how are you feeling inside? And it matters because um, nowadays here it's kind of like, you know, yeah. Yeah. people are very shut off. They're very shut off. And and we're 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 normalizing it. It's like, oh, it, this is how New York is. This is normal. And I, I don't like, I don't like that. And I have a bunch of friends that don't like that. And I have yeah. a lot of people who aren't benefiting from that kind of lifestyle. So to introduce, uh, you know, to put in this kind of like mindfulness into everything that we do here, especially here in New York, I think it would be so beneficial for everyone. Um, everyone that is, you know, into the industry, putting in a little more love, putting in a little more spirituality, a little more mindfulness, um, conscious behavior. I think it's going to do wonders, really. I'm awesome. excited. That's awesome. And that's why you're shaking up the beauty business. And I think what you're saying yeah. is not just New York. I think it's most parts of the world. And so I yeah. think you'll be speaking the language of many, many people. And I think this is really awesome. And just as a recap for those who, who, who just tuned in, I mean, the idea behind what Amanda is doing, she's bringing three elements together, which is beauty, uh, medical and uh, energy healing. Right? Uh, yeah, energy healing. Yeah, and that you becomes. You can have uh, it. You can have it all. You can. You can have it all. <laughs> yeah, in in uh, one solution, and and that's the beauty of. And that was the challenge that Amanda had prior to the challenge itself when we were talking about the naming and the naming structure and and kind of building out how this would actually work. So I think like once that kicked in, and and one of the things I mean we'll talk about this of course when we when we go to our final video is about clarity, and we'll, we'll talk about more at that you know, in the next video. So in the next video, yeah. we'll talk a bit more about that, but that is awesome. Uh, for those who 
just wanting to know more information to reach out to Amanda, go click below, um, check out our kickoff video, first video to get to know more about Amanda, her mission, her purpose, what she's doing. Uh, she's on to something. If you want really to join. <laughs> if you want to join. <laughs> yeah. Join. So, yeah. Because so, again, I, I just stress this. This is not something that isn't that that hasn't been done. It's just not enough people I feel are pushing it because here in New York, there's barely anyone doing it that you know, if you, if you, if you look up something else, you'll see it in an instant, you'll yeah. find the place that's doing it immediately. And you can also go on Groupon if you need, you know, for people who don't have the finances, they can go on Groupon and they can put, you know, like whatever it is that they're looking for and they'll find it. Now, when you put like, you know, energy healing facial, yeah. Yeah. you're not going to find that. You know, you're not, it's, but that's not. where you need to own. And I think I mean, that's why we did the naming exercise in the beginning, because once you start to own these things in the sense of concepts, um, at least driving them forward, this is going to be very beneficial for you as an asset in the long term. Um, in the short term, it'll get you attention, but in the long term, um, you're going to see yeah. it pay you back. It'll in build dividends. a brand. You yeah, got it. I'm excited. You got it. Awesome. Guys, that's hack number three. Check out more information. <laughs> Get us in the next video. We're going to reflect on the last 10 days. Check you out in the next video. See you, Amanda. <laughs>